so guys i'm just back from vegas where i think i bought every candle available in bath and body works i sold them out so if you want to see what i picked up then stay tuned guys it's becky and welcome to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on this video and spending your time with me i upload every tuesday and thursday there's always something new on this channel and i do lots of plus size fashion beauty lifestyle a bit of travel <laughs> when i can fit that in uh, just lots of good stuff over here so i would absolutely love it if you would hit that subscribe button down below it is free to subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell so you can be notified every time Time I upload and if you could give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also let me know down below in the comments what is your favorite bath and body works candle or if you're not a bath and body works gal what candles do you like let me know in the comments so little backstory <laughs> uh went to Vegas and had an amazing time the vlogs are should all be up by now Bath and Body Works is now available in the UK at Next. However, we get like the signature scent. So it's just like the white barn. I think it's like clean cotton, uh, short, strawberry shortbread, a lemon one, cherry mullo. Like we just get the white barn scents and a handful of the seasonal stuff. And it comes in very, very late. And we don't have the offers either. The offers got me, guys. The offers were so good this time uh, when I went to America. The last time I went, we didn't go when there were very good offers. But this time, oh, there were some really good offers. Um, we managed to go for the 60% autumn sale, uh, which was amazing. So we could find the free wick candles i think were around 11 dollars and we also hit the buy one get one free sale the one dollar hand sanitizers and then i also signed up to the loyalty program which uh, you can do even if you live outside of the us so they said like just say your birthday is now so you can get your birthday gift while you're visiting uh so i got a mini um you get i think you get a mini bath baffle body item um for your birthday then for signing up you get a ten dollar off a thirty dollar spend coupon as well and then because i spent over a hundred dollars i also got a free small candle you get um up to a 17 dollar value item for free so <laughs> i actually don't even have everything that i bought because I bought a lot of gifts. JP also bought some candles for himself and gifts for his family too. But I still have an awful, awful lot to show you. Um, so I think the best thing to do, I'll do candles first. And I'm going to show you the candles that I got in the sale because I believe they're not as readily available now. And then I'll show you the candles that I got in the buy one, get one free. Uh, and then I'll show you everything else. That's the plan. So candles that I got... 60% off I like the mini candles because um they're quite small especially for travel like getting all of this back home uh, so I got pumpkin carving which I'm gonna be lighting this weekend because it's Halloween next week um this one smells so good I think if this went beyond Halloween though it's just like spicy and kind of like cinnamony this is freshly carved pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds and smooth brown sugar it's just a really sweet, yummy candle. And I really like this. It's spooky, but it's not like childish. It's quite a sophisticated, spooky little candle. These are normally $16. I think I think we paid like five or six dollars for these. Like such a good price. Then this is a classic scent. Um, marshmallow Fireside. It's not one of my favourite scents, but sometimes you do just want that really smoky scent. It's sweet, but very, very smoky. It really does smell like a bonfire. Um, so this one is toasted marshmallow, smouldering woods, fire roasted vanilla and crystallised amber. 
If you like By the Fireplace by uh, Replica Mason Margiela, I think you'll really, really like this candle. Uh, for me, I'm really happy that I got it in the small size because as I said, it's not like one that I can smell all the time. Like it's, it's definitely, I have to be in the mood for it. But for six, for six dollars, I will take it. Um, and then the last one I've got to show you. Oh, sorry. Uh, we also got sweater weather, uh, but I gave that to my parents. And then I got salted butterscotch for my brother and sister-in-law. And then I kept the caramel pumpkin swirl, which is luscious caramel, ground cinnamon and brown sugar. So... There's no pumpkin in this. What does pumpkin really smell like, though? <laughs> so, again, I think this will be fine for uh, after Halloween as well. Very, very sweet. Very kind of like cinnamon roll smell. Um, again, these ones with the lid are $18. But with 60% off, I think they were like $7 or something ridiculously cheap. I do prefer these like new ones. I do think they just look a little bit more sophisticated than the jars however you can't get these with your free voucher so <laughs> these were new in we managed to also hit up the new in for christmas scents which was really cool um very very torn about what scent to pick i ended up going with holiday this is super super cinnamony <laughs> um i love how like vintage this looks as well <laughs> This is like, um, if you've ever had a cinnamon jelly belly, <laughs> very spicy, like it has a little bit of the spicy kick to it, which I actually quite enjoyed. Uh, red cinnamon stick, Christmas clove buds, ground nutmeg, just super, super Christmassy. Um, and yeah, I might gift it, but I also might burn it. <laughs> we'll see but really really like this scent this was a freebie but it is one of the new in ones um as for candles that i got with 60 percent off free wick wise um i got this one is so pretty and again it's not too um autumnal this is spiced blackberry cider i feel like i can definitely burn this after um halloween it is spiced fruit it's very very interesting i feel like it's it's quite light though as well it's not too too spicy um and just very different from all the other candles that i'd picked this is mold blackberries simmered cider with a cinnamon stick garnish and i think as well when the candle is on this will look really really pretty it's almost like a, a crystal um like glass that you drink a cocktail out of i think that's what it's kind of like inspired by um i also managed to get oh, i've always wanted one of these uh it's a little candle holder and this one has just got um all the beautiful like autumn leaves in like an ombre print uh again we don't get the we get some of them at next but and they're also just expensive so this it was originally 15 dollars, but again this would have been like five or six dollars um it is it is quite flimsy, so I'm glad that I only paid five or six dollars for it. But I've always, always wanted one. So I took the opportunity to pick one up. Uh, super, super cute. And then another autumn candle that was 60% off was Harvest Gathering. Again, uh, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving here in the UK, but perfect for November. It's still a vibe. It's still a vibe. This is fresh picked apples, autumn berries and clove bud. And I loved this packaging. It's like really neutral, so it will kind of fit in with any decor. It's fresh, the apples. I love apple scents. I feel like this would be a really, really good kitchen scent. So that's probably where this will be going. But to be honest, this would be nice in an office, in my living room as well. So really happy with that one. The next one is um, a little bit more of an unusual scent for me. I really wanted the autumn chai candle, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, and there are some available on like the Facebook groups. But like JP was like, you have literally got so many candles. Are you going to burn it? <laughs> so I think I'm going to pass on the autumn chai. 
uh, I love chai, uh, but they had this candle and I just think the packaging, the design of this collection was so, so pretty. This is Praline Delight and it's got a little mushroom on there. I'm glad it doesn't smell like mushroom though, but it's just really like forest cottage core style. This is roasted pecans, brown sugar and creamy caramel. This is nutty. Yeah, it's just really nutty. It It's really nice. It's very unusual. It kind of smells like um, Brazil nuts. I always thought there was a bit of chocolate in here, but there isn't. But it's very decadent, very gourmand, as they say. Um, so I'm glad I picked it up for a sale price. I don't think I would have ever paid full price for this. They're $25 for the free wick ones, but I think for like $11 or whatever it was, a uh, pretty good deal. Now on to the um, buy one get one free candles. I did pick up White Pumpkin. So not all the autumn scents were in the sale. A lot of their kind of most popular autumn scents were still full price, but then were in the buy one get one free offer. And this one's a classic. It's also incredibly like minimal, clean design. And I thought it would look really cute in there um again like i can definitely burn this obviously after halloween white pumpkin is like pumpkin spice but clean and fresh so again i do think it's a really good one for the kitchen uh gingered white pumpkin caramel glaze warm blended spices it's not as gourmand as some of the other ones uh which is why i quite like it just to have as like an everyday candle that you can just kind of light and enjoy it uh christmas candles there is a new there's got a couple of new scents there's one scent that i didn't know was new and i wish i smelt it it was um something like woodland pear or like snowy woodland pear or something i love pear scents so i'm a little bit gutted i missed out on that one however i did pick up the pistachio and toasted vanilla candle uh, i love pistachio ice cream and i love kayali's i think it's called pistachio gelato perfume this is salted pistachios and toast toasted vanilla almonds nutty again they've got a really good nutty scent going at the moment i think this is really great if you're not a fan of like cinnamon or clove scents um it's still very like cozy and gourmand but not spicy it's really, really nice though. Um, I think, I think I prefer it over the Praline Delight. They're both nutty. Uh, however, I feel like this one is a little less sickly. So again, you could probably have this lit for a longer amount of time. And then the final Christmas candle I got. Oh, look at this gorgeous lid. I'm going to be keeping this because I have other Bath and Body Works candles that I got for Christmas last year that I haven't used yet. But this lid is beautiful i actually think i have this candle already but it is one of my favorites it's under the christmas tree i never used to like pine scents or christmas tree scents but this it has a sweetness to it it's fir balsam juniper berries and vanilla eggnog and sage leaves it smells fresh but sweet i really like it there's like an addictive like, and also there's like a, maybe a little bit of like menthol in there. There's only eucalyptus. Maybe it's the juniper berries, but it just smells really good. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you're kind of trying to get into those kind of Christmas tree fir balsam scents, I'd definitely give this one a sniff rather than, they've got, I think it's literally called like fir balsam. Um, rather than that one, because that one is really, it's very, very tree. <laughs> so this one is my favourite. And the, oh, I love this kind of like traditional but modern uh, label. It's super cute. And then they have recently launched a new kind of like fragrance collection um, called Luminous. I love this. The woman, <laughs> the woman at the Bath and Body Works in Town Square literally was like, buy the candle. I can't put it in my basket. And so I ended up with it. But it's addictive. This is a perfume scent. Oh, it smells so good. Um, so this is, this isn't 
as like literal as the other scents that I've showed you from Bath and Body Works that are all they're all quite foody. This one is a perfume scent. Uh it is red currant, gilded iris, and praline amber. I would say this is really similar to La Via Belle and Coco Mademoiselle, if you like those perfumes. Uh it's it's very sophisticated, but there is still like a youthful element to it. I really, really like fell in love with the fragrance. Um, so much so that I did get my free birthday gift as the fine fragrance mist. This was $9 and yeah, it was it's really nice. It's very strong for like a body splash or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, it's really good and then i also got <laughs> i also got it in the room spray these i think were two for 16 um i also got it in strawberry pound cake this is my favorite like of all time bath and body works candle and i just thought well why not get the room spray they're very strong room sprays and then in the 60 percent off sale i got the spiced pumpkin and patchouli um i picked up a lot of these as gifts because they were nine dollars i think they were like three or four dollars each so um they were a really great little gift not too heavy um and they also have like nice packaging and they had like a, they're quite a sophisticated scent. Obviously, patchouli is kind of like a perfume, like no ingredients. So, um, but a lot of my kind of friends and family are quite bougie. So <laughs> they really like the scent. And then finally, we go on to pocket backs. Uh, so I've gotten Han onto pocket backs. So I've got her these as like a stocking stuffer. Uh, these were all $1. They're normally two. So they were half price. And me and JP went wild. Because <laughs> he likes to have hand sanitizer in his car. But the one that he's got at the moment, we picked up in Italian supermarket. And it was... It's not very nice. It's really runny. It's very stingy. And it doesn't smell very good. <laughs> so I've got him onto these. Uh, so I got Hannah Christmas one of Twisted Peppermint. These smell so strong as well. Like people think you're wearing a perfume when you put them on. So this one's like a nice minty scent. Um, I also got her a Luminous of... Cause I'm just obsessed. I got one of these too. And then I also got her Snowy Peach Berry, which is another little Christmassy one. And then for me, I did get a couple of um, holders because I don't have one and I just wanted one. Um, so this one, oh, you can both put them on your keys. This is kind of like an everyday one. So you can just use this kind of all year round. And this one's really cheap, two bucks. They do this in like black, grey. I think JP got a black one. Um, but yeah just good to put on your keys or on your backpack or whatever for work but i did get this christmas one it's an ice cinnamon bun it's so cute you could probably use this one all year round but i think it is meant to be for christmas but i want to use this all year round they had a really cute like pumpkin spice latte one but i couldn't find that one anywhere this one was seven dollars and i needed to spend over thirty dollars to get my ten dollars off so <laughs> this was just something that ended up being added to the basket and then what scents did i get i got um tree farm vanilla icicles they had all the christmas scents in so golden berry mistletoe really cute uh i got a luminous again and I got a strawberry pound cake uh, as well. Because again, these sell out really quick in Next UK. And they're just really, these were all a dollar. So I was pretty happy. Um, but yeah, that is everything I got. A little tip if you're wondering, how the hell did you get all these home? Um, have a look in Duty Free for their like bag for life options. Uh, flying out of Nice, I saw that they had these bags that were almost like, they were very like heavy duty with like a big zip. You can put them over your um, rolly suitcase bag. And they were big, like a bag for life size. 
And if you read your uh, baggage allowance on the plane, especially if you're going with like a Ryanair or EasyJet who are stickless for the rule, it says you are allowed one bag of duty free. <laughs> Do you see where I'm going there? So we've got these bags, they were like three or five euros from, it's the duty free that begins with A, like A Aria or Aria. I don't know, but we use those and put all of our candles in them. Just so you're aware though with TSA, wax comes up as a liquid. So they did have to manually check our bags through security. Um, so just make sure you add that time to your cabin bag. And he was like, oh, you should check these into your luggage next time. And I was like, do you know how much these candles weigh? I was like, I think we're just going to do carry on with the candles forever. Even if you have to wait, it saves so much money and we had no issues at all. Uh, they never even asked to look in the duty-free bags. So that's my little tip from me to you. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I I don't know if the other hauls are up yet, but there is like some Sephora hauls, some clothing hauls coming away from Las Vegas. So do subscribe or check out the channel if you want to find them. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment down below and I'll see you very soon. Bye.